Well, good Thursday afternoon and welcome to another edition of From the Shore, the official online video of the Skinny Atlas Journal and SkinnyAtlasJournal.com. I'm editor Jonathan Monfaletto. And I'm reporter Christopher Malone. And here we are with our third straight Thursday edition because I have a obligation and won't be in the office tomorrow, so here we are, but promise you next week we should be back to... Uh, to our Friday schedule, and maybe to celebrate that, we'll take it to take it somewhere out. outside or somewhere yeah. in Skinny Atlas or, mm -hmm. or even Marcellus. We'll find, yeah. we'll find a place. Yeah. But in the meantime, if you have any suggestions, feel free to drop us a line. And uh, of course, this Thursday, so that means the weekly Skinny Atlas Journal came out yesterday. And on the cover, I'm proud to show uh, a story on a Skinny Atlas High School graduate by the name of Calvin Bohr. Uh, young man graduated high school last year and just spent a full year in Hungary. Uh, through the uh, Rotary Youth Exchange Program. Um, and I know we've talked before about getting the chance to go yeah. abroad. Uh, I studied abroad when I was in college, and you've been on all kinds mm -hmm. of trips around the world. And um, so I, you don't have to tell us twice that it's a great opportunity. Yeah. Uh, Calvin's mother is a second grade teacher at Waterman Primary School in Skinny Alice. So throughout the year, he had been um, Skyping and exchanging letters with the, with the students. And he got back, I guess, a uh, just last week mm -hmm. and popped in Friday and um, shared some experiences with the kids yeah. and showed them some Hungarian money and uh, pictures mm -hmm. of his host family and he wears uh, each of the Rotary Exchange students gets this uh, uh, jacket that they wear mm -hmm. and they decorate it with pins or different mementos that they collect throughout the year so he was showing that off too and that was really neat it was uh, really neat to see. Uh, How the kids like it? They they were being in the the fashion of children that age were just totally fascinated and really? full of some really yeah. good questions and uh, it was just a really neat I think they were just more like wow like this guy is here like mm -hmm. they've been skyping him throughout the year and often he's real he's right there in the classroom with yeah. them and it was really neat. I have to share one story of he kind of was talking about how he found out about going to Hungary because you apply for the program and then you get to you know list your top choices and his were you know France and Germany and some other places in, in Europe he never really thought of Hungary but that's what he got assigned and he texted his mother one word he just said Hungary as in the country <laughs> she texts back uh, something like you know we'll be having dinner soon yeah and uh, she of course being teach that she is took the opportunity to tell her students this is why I tell you guys to read carefully yeah. think about what you're saying <laughs> so that was a kind of a neat, a neat moment and uh, speaking of Waterman, we, we've covered them a bunch yeah. uh, this week, and you had a chance to do that. On the other side of the paper, we oh, have uh, that. Run That's... for Funds that took place. <laughs> uh, last year, they generated $17,000 in, or, no, they generated $20,000 after the $15,000 goal. This year, $25,000 to go Classic. toward the PTC to uh, pay for that playground that they're raising, which would be great when they receive that goal. So and the kids were kids were great about it too. Very enthusiastic. Some a little bit exaggerated as kids do. You know, I'm never running again. And I absolutely know that feeling when I first started running. For I, I still say that when I run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can you can find those two stories and everything else in, in this week's edition of the journal. Um, let's talk about what we got coming out in next week's edition. Uh, I'll let you go first, Chris. Yeah, um, I, have, I talked to Dr. John Rillo of uh, Village Visions over in Skinny Atlas on, up on Jordan Road. Uh, I put it in my GPS looking for Village Visions and it took me to the old location on Funnel Street, but uh, okay. not to confuse, it's on Jordan right now. Uh, it's a couple miles up the road and I had a discussion about his uh, history with uh, optometry and his practice and it's a nice cozy little area. Um, uh, Gazella is in the same building as well. Oh okay, yep, I know that location well. Yep. So and he's thought of the idea of opening up that place right there because he's at the little restaurant cafe across the street which I didn't see until I left. So now I know that it's there and that's another new place I have to check out. So yeah, uh, Dr. John and I had a great conversation and He's very active in the community. I've seen him. I've seen mm -hmm. him everywhere, and didn't put two and two together until we conversed at one of the skinny Ellis business after hours, which was fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, just today, actually, I kind of, as I was thinking this through in my head, I wanted to kind of 
preface this like a uh, like a medical commercial with saying, "Do you suffer from range anxiety?" Well, Merbo in his spa has the cure for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's kind of corny, but uh, you'll you'll understand as I explain it. Uh, Merbo in his spa with a partnership through the uh, the Tesla Motor Company that makes the electric cars, mm -hmm. um, and they've installed three uh, charging stations for electric vehicles. Two of them specifically for the Tesla models. One is for you know pretty much any other model like the, the Chevy Volt or mm -hmm. um, I know Honda's got one. You know everybody seems to be kind of developing an electric car these days. Yeah. And uh, I talked to General Manager Richard Malcolm over at Merbo, and uh, he kind of called it range anxiety. That's when uh, these cars are really only capable of going about 300 miles in a single charge. Mm -hmm. So like anyone who might be seeing their gas tank dip to E, you think, oh my, where am I going to go fill up? Because Obviously, charging stations are, are not as prevalent, becoming more and more. Um, mm -hmm. So he says, hey, this is perfect. Now, anyone who's going to come visit near Bow can know, okay, if I'm going less than 300 miles, I can make it to the resort. Yeah. I can plug in, charge up, and be good to go when, I'm, when it's time to leave. It was really Great. neat to just to see how it works. Um, there was an actual car there at the time. They, they tried to get one for me, but mm -hmm. it didn't quite work out. But it was just neat to hear what he had to say about it and, and see the machines up close and mm -hmm. uh, it sounds like a great thing for the community especially in Skinny Alice where there are a lot of people that are yeah. um, environmentally conscious like that and it was uh, really neat to see. Yeah. So. Yeah. Speaking of running and running short distances, um, actually coming up is the uh, Maureen O'Hara uh, Teal, there's a QR run for ovarian cancer in the Marcellus. Uh, it's going to take place on July 4th at Marcellus Park, 10 a.m. And I am actually going to be running for, running it. Okay. So um, I encourage everybody to donate. I have a little fun page set up. I only set a goal of $150 because I was unsure. This is my first actually fundraising for a raise. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's the it's after you go to the donation page, you do the slash mark, and it says running reporter. That's the right. like so that. like go there that. and donate, or you don't have to donate to me. Just donate to the cause. And if but if you donate to him, he'll like you more. Yeah, exactly. And, <laughs> if, and if you want to run with me, by all means, I'll be there. And uh, speaking of fitness fundraisers, uh, the week after that will be the live. Sorry, the ride for Alive, mm -hmm. which is put on by the Alive Foundation every year. It's a, a bicycle ride, not competitive. Just go out there and have fun and bike around the lake. There's a 50, 25, and 10 mile ride, so you know it's kind of built for all uh, mm -hmm. all ages, all all abilities, that kind of thing. And um, that's of course uh, sponsored by the Alive Foundation, which is was established by Julia Womp and her husband. Uh, Julia is a breast cancer survivor, and her foundation helps uh, create programs um, centered around health and wellness for cancer survivors. You know, once they finish their treatment, you know, kind of get in get that health back and get that strength back. So that's mm -hmm. been the mission and that's their biggest fundraiser. So yeah. check it out. All right, well, I think that's about all we got for this week. Uh